Okay, this video is the muscles of the torso. So we're going to start on the posterior part of the back. This big muscle right here, which I mentioned in the last video, is the trapezius. And this large muscle right here that takes up the rest of that is called the latissimus dorsi. Underneath here, or deep to the trapezius, you're going to find two rhomboid-shaped muscles, and those are called the rhomboid minor and rhomboid major. You can't actually see them on the model. If we turn this guy this way, you can see that we have what's called the serratus anterior muscle. And that's all of this, and you see how it makes sort of a jagged edge? That's the serrated part. So serratus anterior is all of this. Turn them even further, we go to the front part. We've got the large chest muscle, which is called the pectoralis major. Deep to that is the pectoralis minor, and I'll show you in a little bit. All right, here, if we go further down, we end up seeing the external abdominal oblique muscles. Directly deep to that, I'm going to show you here, is called the internal abdominal obliques. So if you take a look here, all right, this layer was that external abdominal oblique. Here is the internal abdominal oblique. And then further in from that, or deeper to that, is what's called the transverse abdominus. You see the fiber direction here is going that right to left, transverse. I want you to also note that you can see what's called the rectus abdominis muscle here. You can also see that on the front. That's what we would commonly call the six pack but it goes all the way through, so you can see it on both sides. If we move up, all right, we'll show you again that pectoralis major is on the outside, which makes this deep muscle the pectoralis minor. Now, we have muscle between the ribs as well, and they're called intercostal muscles, costal referring to ribs, which are these guys here. Right, so the muscle between is the intercostal muscle. We have an external intercostal and internal intercostal. The last thing I want to show you is the diaphragm. So that is actually what we call the prime mover for breathing. So it's the main muscle that helps you breathe. The diaphragm is located right up underneath the lungs. It's this big muscle right here it sort of forms the top of that abdominal pelvic cavity and the floor of the thoracic.